Alright, how's everyone doing today, guys? It's Michael, and I have a review on the Nike Plus iPod kit for the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 2G, the Nanos, and all that. So, I picked this up probably about a week ago, and I'm really liking it so far, guys. So, now what it comes with is the sensor and the Nike Plus, or this is actually the sensor, and this is the receiver. Now, the receiver you're not going to need if you have an iPod or iPhone 3GS. It has a built-in and the sensor. So I actually spent about 10 more dollars than I should because I had no idea apple.com just sold the sensor by itself and not the receiver, but I had a Best Buy um reward zone card so I just picked this up there. But it all works out really great, guys. Now I have had a couple of troubles with it. I'm going to tell you guys about the troubles I've had with it and then I'll get to the good stuff about it. So the first problem is that you are going to want, probably sooner or later, want to get a Nike Plus shoe. Now the reason is this, because there really isn't a great place to put this thing. I, I actually had to put it in my sock and it wasn't accurately reading the my, my the miles I was running because I think I ran about 2 miles and it told me I ran .63. Now, so it wasn't picking up correctly while it was in my sock. Now, the Nike Plus shoe, what it does here, I'll just get some random shoe I have. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, you open up the bottom part, the little foaming in it, and then it goes into the bottom part of your shoe. So you open up the foam padding in it, and then you just slip this in a little cushion area. So you're not going to feel it all and it's going to accurately track what you're doing. So there are some methods on a normal shoe just by making a slit kind of in this top area right here but some shoes aren't big enough to do that so they're not going to have that top part where you're able to do that so I am probably going to pick up a Nike Plus shoe sometime just not any time now because they are a bit pricey they're like around a hundred dollars maybe more usually more actually so for now I'm just gonna find a different method that will last until I can get that now the other di um, disadvantage is that this thing sometimes does not connect to the iPhone or that so I will show you guys what I mean let me see if it actually is working now let me see so. so you go down your settings Nike plus iPod and sensor, so it's going to want to track the sensor. So I'll link a new one. Now I wasn't. It tells you to walk around to activate your sensor. So I've been walking around. Actually, I walked around for about 80 steps, and it still didn't track it. So I had to shake this around a lot. It took about 20 minutes in total for me to get this activated with this. So that was another disappointment I was having with it. And I actually heard a lot of people were having that problem also, but they said to either just reset your network settings and it'll be fine so some problem those are the main disadvantages I have with it now the great thing about this sensor is that it works so great with it now when I put it together I have the menu so workout it has a couple of different workouts you can choose burning calories a distance goal a time based workout and just a basic workout where you can program what you want now I did basic or let's do distance you can choose a custom distance so let's just choose a mile for instance and shuffle songs and now it has to activate your sensors so let's see if I can shake this around to get it might not work but once you start doing that it's gonna bring you to a menu and that menu is gonna have your distance you're running your pace you're running and at the end of your workout it's gonna tell you your average and stuff and then when you plug this into your computer, you can upload your workout to NikePlus.com and it will keep track of all that so you can know how to improve. So it is a really great device, guys, especially if you're into working out, running, exercise, and all of that stuff. So if you are a jogger, a walker, or anything like that, check this out. And if you do have the iPhone 3GS, make sure you just buy the sensor because you can get this for twenty dollars as opposed to spending thirty getting the receiver which you don't need if you have the iPhone 3GS now if you have the iPod Nano 
and I believe the iPod Touch 2G does require this. So if you have those, you're just gonna need to pick up the whole package for 30. But overall, guys, I would say definitely check it out. It's a great product, especially if you're into working out and all that. So give it a check, guys. This was the Nike Plus iPod review. So give it a check out, guys. It's a great product. So have a good day, guys. Peace.